Hey there, everyone. Uh, recently, I was contacted by the people at Ops about reviewing their 1200 watt power station. And this is something that I've been pretty interested in. I've been trying to uh, put some money together to get, you know, a Jackery or a Blue Eddy or something like that. And when they approached me about this, because I just spent a whole bunch of money on a Harvest Drive freeze dryer, I said, absolutely, I will check this out. I've seen a couple videos about this. I know Alaska Prepper uh, has a, a few videos on different units and he loves them. Uh, I wanna do a video today and go over my results using this for the last few weeks. Now, this isn't going to be the real technical video, plugging all the machines in to get the volts and amps and watts and all that stuff. There are a few of those out there and they're good videos. I'll link to uh, one of them below in the description. But this is gonna be more of a my use case. Uh, what I've seen from this, from a preparedness perspective, just you know things around the house using this. I've probably drained this uh, four or five times, drained and refilled it four or five times. So, and it's, it's had no issue so far. So I've gotten a good idea about what it can do, what it can't do. And um, in this video, I wanna go over how my results compare to what they state on the website. I want to talk about the pros and cons of this unit compared to some of the other brands out there, as well as the size of this for preparedness in general. Is this good? What, what is this going to be able to do? What is it not going to be able to do in some sort of emergency or grid down situation? Now they sent me this along with the 100 watt solar panels, uh, which I will talk about here in a bit as well. And you can also uh, plug this in. I've, I've got another 100 watt solar panel that I plugged it into and I'll, I'll give you the results of that. So at first, first off, we'll go through this. What comes with this package is you've got the, the instruction manual here. You've got this adapter that you can plug it into a car lighter uh, and then plug this into and you can charge this up uh, through your car, while, although it does take quite a while. Uh, and then it comes with the power cord where you can charge it from the wall. Uh, this power cord right here. And then the unit itself, it's got the 10 outlets for charging. You've got the, the DC side over here. You've got the USBs, you've got the type C's. Over here on the AC side, you've got three outlets right here. And the battery itself is a Life PO4 battery, which is a huge selling point for me. It's a 992 watt hour capacity. This is a 1200 watt AC pure sine wave inverter, uh, 3600 watt surge power. Uh, like I said, it's got the 10, 10 outputs, three ways to recharge it. Like I was just talking about, you've got your car, you've got the solar and you've got the AC adapter. Uh, the, the screen right here, as you can tell, the one thing that I don't like about this is that it turns off uh, after, I don't know if it's a minute, 30 seconds, whatever it, whatever it is, but when you're trying to monitor stuff, it's sort of a pain. And then 250 watts max input, which I haven't been able to get up to that, and I'll go through that in a little bit with two solar panels, uh, but you can get up to 250 watts if you have the means to do so. Uh, and it says here it powers 85% of all appliances. Now with this, I have done this on my refrigerator and it worked absolutely fine. I've done, I've mixed some dough in a dough mixer in the, my little Ninja blender uh, and that, it was a five minute process. So it was only, uh, I thought it was going to be up towards the peak about, about, about 11 or 1200 watts, but it turned out to be a lot lower than that. I've tried it on a hot plate uh, a hot plate, I boiled water in a hot plate, took about four or five minutes. That is a 1200 watt uh, hot plate. I have plugged this into my TV, pretty large TV, and it it took about five, 5.25, 5 5.3 hours uh, to fully drain this battery. So, and my TV, like I said, it's a pretty large TV, and the average was about 148 watts. What's cool about this is you can see when you plug something in, I'll just plug my iPad in here uh, and then turn on the DC. When you plug something in, it'll tell you how many watts you are pulling. So my TV through, you know, it, and I also had a voltmeter hooked in here and this is fairly accurate. Uh, it was, the numbers were different on my voltmeter and this, but it's fairly accurate. Uh, but it pulled about 148, 150 watts 
for about five, five point two five hours or so before this was completely dead. Now, what that means is that the battery capacity, uh, it, and I've done this a few times. So that five point two five hours. That means I would I got seven hundred and ninety one, seven hundred and ninety five, give or take, uh, watts out of this. 992 watt hour battery. Now you've got the inverter, which is going to be a little bit of a loss, but an 80% uh, efficiency is not the best on the market. You can get, like I said, the Blue Eddies and, and even Jackery claims 85% uh, efficiency. So 80% on this is not uh, not the greatest. I'll, I'll just put it that way. The DC, I don't have really anything to test the 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 efficiency on the DC side, uh, but I assume it's probably pretty close. Possibly even a little bit better because you don't have the, the inverter that you have to power as well. Now the price on this, this is where if you're, you know, even though it's only got an 80% efficiency, the price on this is a lot lower than some of the other brands. Uh, this is, and, and that was my concern going in was okay, if it's got the life PO4 batteries, which basically you have 3,500 life cycles until it goes down to 80%, which 80%, considering it's only 80% right now, it would be more like 60%. But it really doesn't matter <laughs> if, if, those, it, if those batteries will last 3,500 life cycles if the unit itself won't last that long. And that's what one of my main concern was. Uh, I will say I've used this and, I, and I've used it quite a bit for three weeks straight and have had zero issues with it at all. The fan, it's not really, it's not loud. You can hear it turn on. It's like a computer fan, a, a loud computer fan for, you know, a high-end computer. Uh, but it's not super loud and super annoying. It's just a, um, you know, just a, it's something that isn't going to drive you crazy. When, when it's charging, it does have sort of a weird sound, an alien type sound. But it's not nothing that you, it, you're gonna be able to block it out fairly quickly after that. So uh, the unit itself has stood up so far. So, you know, it really depends if it, the price range you're looking at uh, as far as the watt output, as far as the quality, I know this is almost like blasphemy. I know everybody loves Jackery, but I think that, and I've you know heard from a few people that uh, they it, there's a lot of advertising that goes into it. So the money you're paying goes for that, uh, a little bit of that. I know a lot of the units that Jackery makes don't have the life PO4s. And that honestly for me is a deal breaker. Uh, I think they have to have the life PO4 batteries in there. So that is a pro for, for this over the Jackery along with the price. And if this holds up and if this doesn't hold up, I'll be using this quite a bit. If it doesn't hold up in the next few months, I'll be doing another video on it. Uh, it's, it's done absolutely fantastic. It's got all the inputs on the front. You've also got the light on the back, which is a pretty, pretty solid light. It's, it's not the brightest in the world, but say you're in a tent, you're in a camping situation, or you're, you know, in a grid down type situation where you're trying to light up a room or a basement, something like that. This is going to do pretty well. The SOS thing, I, all the flashlights and it, everybody has these. I don't uh, know how useful that is. I've never been in a situation where I've had to use it. Uh, but it is it, a cool little feature. The case, it, it sort of looks like, you know, the color scheme and everything uh, sort of looks like a Jackery. Uh, but, you know, and it's it's sort of got the same type of display and everything as a Blue Eddy. So uh, it's just, uh, you know, I I don't know. I, that that to me is, is sort of irrelevant. I want to make sure the damn thing's going to work. And that's what uh, I tested out. Now, as far as charging it with solar panels and towards the end, I'm going to go through uh, my thoughts on as far as for preparedness, how this is. But as far as charging, uh, you've got the solar panels here and I'll pull this over and show you. You've got the solar panel here, which comes with on the back here, on the back here, it's got this little pouch, which has got the a pretty long cord in it to plug your solar panels in. And on this cord, you've got, there are, 
you've got this cord as well. So basically, if you've got one input, you're just inputting your solar panel. This is what you would plug in to your machine or your generator. If you've got two solar panels, like I did at one point, I tested this out with one and two. Then you plug in this adapter here uh, on this one, and then you can plug in your other solar, solar panel on this one, and then you plug this into the unit right there. If you are plugging in two of the solar panels, you are going to need this, because while this will work uh, for plugging into this solar panel and Jackery or any sort of solar thing, uh, you're gonna have to get this adapter right here, which basically is this end right here, goes into, uh, this one goes into this solar panel, this one would go into the other solar panel, and this one goes into the power. And then you just plug in these two connectors to your, uh, the, to the, the Renergy solar panel, or, or you know whatever solar panel you have that takes this type of connector. Uh, and that's all you have to do. And then you've got 200 watts right there. Now, when I tested this out, and I'll open up this solar panel here in a second, when I tested this out, uh, with one solar panel, I was getting, the max I got was 70 watts on this. And I didn't, uh, you know, stay every 15 minutes, align it with the sun or anything like that. I just sort of lined it up, put it out there an hour, an hour and a half later, went out there again and moved it. Uh, 70 watts was the max I got. So, and the average was about 42. Like I said, it, it wasn't super aligned or anything. So... 42 watts so basically you're looking at about 18 hours if this was completely empty with one 100 watt solar panel you're looking at about 18 hours to charge this so you're looking at two days uh, so if you're planning on using this and trying to refill it at the same time it does support pass-through charging if you're planning on charging this and using it at the same time uh, that's going to be pretty tough with one solar panel however with two solar panels I did this, I hooked up my Renergy solar panel and I used this solar panel right here and they both output about the same amount of watts. So this is a decent solar panel. You know, Renergy isn't the greatest either, but uh, they both were pretty similar as far as output. With the two together, the max I got was about 150 watts. Uh, the average was about 92 watts. Uh, for this. So with 92 watts, you're looking at um, seven, you know, nine hours to a full charge. I had it out there for seven hours. Again, not, you know, aligning it perfectly every 20 minutes or so. I had it out there for about seven hours and it went from zero to 81%. So with two solar panels, you actually could use this and have it recharging all at the same time. It really depends on how much energy you're putting through uh, something like this. Now with the, as far as how accurate all of these are, when it tells you how many hours uh, worth of charge, and I don't have anything really powerful to plug in here, so this is probably gonna just tell me 99 hours, but uh, as far as how many hours, when I had this plugged into my TV, is telling me uh, five hours, between five and six hours. That was pretty accurate because it ran out in just over five hours, so that was pretty accurate. This number over here uh, is, these are all basically just general because this number compared to the number I was getting on my, on my watt meter uh, were two different numbers, but they stayed, the difference was about 10 watts, uh, give or take, uh, consistently. So it didn't change over time. So I don't know if this is more accurate or my cheap watt meter is more accurate, who knows, but there was a little bit of a difference. So see, this is saying that I can leave this plugged in for 77 hours, uh, my little eight watt uh, iPad for 77 hours and it's gonna run. So this is these are fairly accurate. So on their website when they say a phone, 11 watt phone will charge 80 charges, uh, a laptop 15 charges, a, a mini fridge 17 hours. My refrigerator uh, was, I think when I had that plugged in, it told me about five hours. So. Something like this in a grid down situation is going to get you, you know, a, a short term type situation, whether you're talking about overnight, you're talking about a couple days, depending on what you need to use it for, it'll get you through there. It won't keep your refrigerator running 24 seven, 
But if you need to turn it on for an hour or two, get it, get everything inside there cooled down, make sure the freezer is still frozen. Or if you have a chest freezer like me downstairs, uh, that takes about a, a third of what the, my refrigerator takes, you can run that. You could actually run that probably for 24 hours and make sure that's working. Uh, and, you know, your lights and all the other things that you need. So as far as from a preparedness perspective, I think this is something that depending on your situation uh, and cost plays a factor into this as well. You can get the larger units with 2,000, 3,000 watts, whatever you want. Uh, but cost plays a factor as well. At the price point that this is, and from what I've seen over the last few weeks, I would say this one is definitely, uh, you know, for this size model, I would say it's, it's, I would go with this before I would go with the Jackery. And I know, like I said earlier, that's blasphemy, uh, you know, talking things like that. Now the Blue Eddy, completely different story. The EcoFlow, I, you know, I think I, it, it's, it's a toss up between those two. Uh, but uh, the, this one over the Jackery, I would totally do it just because of the Life PO4 batteries. Now, in a preparedness, from a preparedness perspective, as far as using this and recharging this and, and having it replenish the energy at the same time, if you're using this at max power with two 100, 100 watt solar panels, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. You're going to have to have a perfect day, perfect conditions. Uh, to make sure and, and get this, uh, you know, charged up at the same rate you're using the energy. But for camping situations, for grid down situations, uh, I think this is absolutely fantastic. And like I said, I've had no issues with this whatsoever. Uh, and I am going to continue to use this quite a bit and we will see how everything works. But uh, uh, honestly, I mean, a great little product here. One thing I did want to show you before I get out of here is the solar panels. And this is the one thing that, that kind of... I'm just not so sure about this because they've got the kickstands here and there's only basically you're stuck at one angle. Uh, I have a I'm planning on setting my solar panel. I'm planning on building something for my solar panels uh, to be able to adjust the angle. Let me get that open there. Uh, and this comes with four panels. It's kind of tough to show you right here, but uh, the panels right there, these are a little dusty because I've had them outside, but the panels, uh, like I said, they, they're pretty good quality. Uh, they, these ones charge just as efficiently as the Renergy that I had out there. Uh, so really not bad at all. I don't know that these are meant to stay outside uh, for extended periods of time. So this isn't something you'd want to uh, leave outside like the Renergy itself. But it is a good uh, option. You know, you're camping, you're, you're in a bug out situation, whatever the, whatever the situation is. It's a, it's, it's a cool little suitcase solar charger and they work, uh, solar panels, and they work really well. So all in all, I really like this unit. Uh, like I said, I'll probably get another uh, outdoor, uh, outdoor solar panel uh, and have, you know, have, them, have it set up to another battery, which I'll use as a reserve battery. That way I can take that battery, charge this sucker up. Uh, again, I will do a video in the future on that, but uh, all in all, I, I think this is a pretty cool unit. I know a lot of people are going to, you know, probably naysay it, but I'm telling you what, I've, you know, after watching a few videos, after using this uh, for a few weeks, uh, granted the efficiency isn't all that great, but for what I'm going to need it for, I think it's a fantastic little piece of equipment. And at the price point it's at, I think it's, it's priced perfectly. Uh, for, uh, you know, for what it is and, and what you'll be able to do with it. So uh, at any rate, uh, that's it for, for this video. If you guys have, if you guys have one of these, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you've got another one, you know, let me know your thoughts one way or the other. But uh, that's it for this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, with that, take care and prepare everyone. We'll talk to you all later.